Asgard. City of the Gods. Kingdom of Thor. Two weeks. It had only been two weeks since Thor. The once prince of Asgard and god of thunder had been crowned king of the Golden City in his father's stead. When Galactus, devourer of worlds, crashed into his home. Desperate and beaten and in need of help. Two weeks as king before Galactus told him of the coming of the Black Winter. Of the death of all things. Of the existence of five special planets that when consumed, would give Galactus the strength to push the winter back. To prevent its gnawing shadow from falling across the whole of reality. And so, two weeks into bearing his father's crown and throne, Thor took a new title and rose. As the new Herald of Thunder. Together, Thor and Galactus successfully discovered one of the five planets. And after Thor evacuated the planet's inhabitants via the Bifrost, the Rainbow Bridge of Asgard, Galactus consumed the planet's energies and they journeyed on to find the rest. But then, in the distance, in a moment existing between seconds, something else appeared. Far, far beyond the fields we know. There. The power. Infinite. I cannot escape its pull. If I feed on this, there will be nothing that can- Galactus. No. I must have it. Galactus will feed. You forget yourself, Garlan. We have a mission. You cannot. No time. I have to warn them before he gets to them. Have to. Warn them. The island. Close to zero. He can feel it at once. The King of Thunder. As he soars above this strange and vibrant land. Something. Pulling at him. Trying desperately to work its magics on him. To fight through the power cosmic and the Odin force running in his veins. He. Nor his ravens Hyojin and Munin. Know the meaning of the magic. But in their search for answers. Among this strange place. They find something else. Life. Hello and well met stranger, I mean you no harm. I am Thor King of Asgard. I come in peace. Please tell me, what is this place? Where, where am I? Please no again, I mean you no harm, I only just arrived. I have no quarrel with you and your people. Please, I have come to warn you all. I am on your side, there is no need for battle and I assure you, you do not want to do so against Ag. Ha! Huh. The very well then. Please, stop this madness and speak to me. A great evil is coming. And I, I can feel your land draining my memories away from me. I said. Enough. Something is coming. Something none of you'll be able to defeat without my help. For I am the God of Thunder. King of Asgard. I am. I am.
Who, who am I? Where, how did I get to this place? I remember. Agar. Are you the one with the cat? You I remember. Thor, though mind wiped from the mysterious energies of the island, wields the lightning and the powers of a god as if not a thing has been lost. In any other place, a lost and furious god being swarmed upon by unknown enemies would not bode well for those that chose the fight. But here, in this strange place, there are larger concerns at hand. And as Thor fights with all the might of a god made king to restore, if even for a moment, his stolen memories. He looks to the sky and sees that dread has swallowed the once bright horizon. Odom's beard. That's it. Why I am here. It's him. That Galactus, devourer of worlds, is coming. Seif. Odin's ravens, now Thor's, can travel through any dimensional barrier in existence. And in the time it takes for a single drop of rain to fall. Thor's message is delivered, screaming across the universe. Ziff quickly. Thor is in need of- I can see it through your eyes as well as his. To the warrior Sif, the unstoppable daughter of Asgard. Worry not. And now guardian of the mighty Rainbow Bridge. Help is on its way. Goddess of the Bifrost. I thank Odin you arrived in time. Hurry. We must work together to stop Galactus before- Okay. Let's all calm down, okay? I don't know about any of you, but I'm not exactly used to being magically teleported against my will. So, three things. One, where are we? Two, who are you? And three. Exactly who are all these people? 